We're going to solve these in two ways. One way, we're going to take the inequalities and we're going to rewrite them underneath the graph. On the left side, put the first one. That's a negative x plus 4. <coughs> and we're going to test them to see if the ordered pair that I've put up there, 2 comma 1, will work. The 2 goes where the x's are. So this is going to become negative 2 plus 4. And the question is, is y less than this combination? And what's our y up here? 1. one. So we want to solve this. Negative 2 plus 4 would be what? 2. two. Is 1 less than 2? Yes. Then this one is a yes, but we also have to check this one. I'll move it up so you can see better. So again, our ordered pair is is 2 comma 1, so we're going to put the 2 in where the x is. We're going to put the 1 where the y is. We're going to solve the right side, which is 3. And the left side stays as the 1. Does this inequality symbol work th still? Yes. Okay, so this would be a yes. Now we're going to take our graphing skills and show why it works. And this is just one ordered pair that could be a solution to these. So first thing we want to look at, thinking back to our list, are these both in y equals mx plus b form? Okay. So y is less than negative x plus 4. We're going to start with the plus 4. So take your pencil and let's graph it. Its slope is a negative what? One. It's negative 1 over 1. So we're going to go down 1 and over 1 and do that a couple times. Ooh. I have to think about, is this a dashed or a dotted or a solid line? This is a dash. And then I also have to think about where am I shading this? It's less than, so is that going to get shaded above the line or below the line? Less than means it is below the line. This is where we're going to start using our two colors. So I'm shading here. You can take it all the way up to that boundary dashed line. And now we're going to graph the second line, but we're going to shade with the other color. We're starting this one where? Up there. At one. It's going to overlap. What's my slope here? One. one over one. And it's positive this time. So I'm going to go up one and to the right. Up one and to the right until I have enough lines. Is it a dashed line or a solid line? Okay. It's a solid. It is a solid line. And where are we shading? Above the boundary or below the boundary? It's again below. Using your other color. This here, Jose. Okay. Now, which ordered pair did we start off asking about? Two, one. two, one. Where is two, one? There's two. There's one. Is it in our double shaded area? So then the answer to this is that this is a yes. And we proved it two ways. We plug the XY pair into both inequalities down here, 
and we also found that the double shaded area everything that's in this double shaded area could be an ordered pair that would make these inequalities true Catherine is there ever a time where it works when you plug it in and it doesn't work when it's in the double shaded area or it's it should always work if it works for one it should work for the other you have to use both like always no no I'm showing you both ways now but you do not need to use both ways to find it which was his question Beck? so you put the dot so you can't put the dot on the dash line and you can't on the, on the solid line that's a really great question it could be on the solid line because the solid line is included in the set but the dash line is not so you couldn't put it what about where um, the dash line and <coughs> so like this point right here is on the dash line it's it doesn't work yeah. Um, I didn't get the part where how'd you get the slope for the first square dash line? Because the slopes are right in front of the X's, both of these are invisible ones. This one's negative, this one's positive. Okay. Next question. Is two comma zero a solution for this system of equations? We're gonna practice it both ways. So first, I'd like you to rewrite the inequalities down below. Y is greater than or equal to 2x. And Y is less than x plus 1. The ordered pair we're checking on is 2 comma 0. So we're going to put 2 times 2 and 0. I'm just plugging in the ordered pair where the x and the y are in the inequalities. My x in the ordered pair is 2, and my y is 0. This one says y is greater than or equal to 2x, which is going to translate to 0 is greater than or equal to 4. Is that true? Yeah. So this is a no, because that is not true. So if it's a no, we don't have to graph it then? We're going to graph it just to prove it, because I want you guys to see what we're showing when we're graphing. This one is going to be 0 is less than 3. Hmm. This one is true. That means when we graph this, the ordered pair is going to show up in the shaded area for the second inequality but it's not going to be there for the first inequality okay so let's go up here and we're going to graph this one is like a direct variation what's its plus b zero at the origin what's our slope so i'm going to go up two and to the right one up two and to the right one Solid or dashed line? Solid. There's just a lot to think about when you're doing these. I don't know why I like them, but I do. I think it's the shading. This is a greater than or equal to, so where is our boundary shading going to be? Okay. I'm going to use orange for my first. It's going to go above. Where is that two comma zero we were looking at? This is the this is the spot right here. Is it in the zone we just shaded? No. Which matches what we found out down here, doesn't it? Now we're gonna graph the second one. We're starting at the plus one. What's our slope here? One over one. I'm gonna go up one over one, up one over one. Oops, I forgot. Dashed or dotted? Solid. I'm sorry, that's the same thing. Dashed or solid? Well, dashed or solid. This one is a dashed line. I'm going to use my colored pencil. And where is my shading going to go? Below. 
This is not say this is not a system of equations or inequalities. It is a system of inequalities. And I have a double shaded area down here. Do you guys see it? But the question we were asked is, does 2 comma 0 fit there? And it does not. It's in the single shaded area. Could we come up with something that is a solution to the system? If you believe. We're going to say, like, right here, negative 3 comma negative 3 is a solution to the system. Okay, I'm going to give you two more down here that I want you to do. You're checking for 0 comma 1. And the two inequalities, hope I have enough room. Y is less than negative 3x. I'm going to write them underneath. There's no room here. Okay, again, we're looking for 0 comma 1. You can only, you don't have to do both ways, you can choose which way. And the first inequality is y is less than negative 3x plus 2, and y is greater than or equal to x minus 1. And this is the question, is this good for both equations? Inequalities, I keep saying equations. The second one I want you to check is at the origin. Yeah. <laughs> 